First away in the 350, Charles Mortimer and last year's winner, Tony Jeffrey. Riders start in pairs at 10 second intervals. Agostini roars away. Agostini starts alongside Australian Jack Findlay, but from then on, there was no one to touch the combination of Ago and the MV, as he gave a masterly display of power and control to clinch his ninth TT victory. Last corner on the circuit, and Agostini has only half a mile to go to win his ninth TT. He crosses the line with a new five lap race record to his credit. It was all sunshine and smiles as Ago mounted the rostrum for the winner's ceremony. But Friday Senior was to have a marked effect on Agostini's career. Nick Harris takes up the story. Of course, I saw him on his first TT, 1965. Sadly, I also saw him on his last TT, 1972. Uh, typical Isle of Man day, the morning, the 125cc race. Missed on the mountain, a grim old day. His great friend, Gilberto Palotti, was riding in the 125cc race desperate to win the 125cc World Championship, desperate on his TT debut to score a lot of World Championship points. Sadly, he was killed in the race when he crashed, and Agostini really did not want to ride in the afternoon. The race was delayed, because as I said, a typical Isle of Man situation, everybody hanging about waiting. In the end, he was convinced by MV and the Isle of Man authorities that he should race, and he did just that. He rode his last race, won the 500cc senior race, but never raced again in the Isle of Man. Happily though, he's always said that the Isle of Man is still to him one of the ultimate experiences in motorcycle racing. He's never given it a bad name. He's never gone back and said, it's not the place to race. What he said, which is a, a sensible situation, I feel, that you have to make your own mind up. Agostini made his own mind up in 72. He wasn't gonna race in the Isle of Man again, but uh, before then, he'd really given such pleasure to thousands of fans and proved really that he's probably one of the greatest motorcycle racers of all time.